Recording is on. All right. Welcome to another uh, another music chat. Um, we have a, uh, a special guest with us uh, this week. Mm -hmm. Kevin McLeod has made uh, lots of uh, music without lyrics over the years. Um, lots of music in general over the years. And I'm quite prolific. Um, and also a podcaster now. Um, I've been a podcaster for a little while now, I guess. Um, yeah. So, uh, so yeah, and then we have uh, Caleb and Victor, um, a couple of couple of regulars. So, uh, uh, I have got to bail um, in about half an hour. So, um, I'm gonna let um, let you guys, uh, and also, I'm, so I'm gonna mute myself. And uh, if you guys have any um, questions for um, for Kevin, who's a composer, but I guess the, the what we should probably start with is Kevin introducing himself in case you guys aren't familiar with his work. Yeah, uh, all right, uh, Kevin McLeod, I write music and uh, give it away for free on the internet through uh, incompetech.com. Uh, it's used in lots and lots and lots of YouTube videos. That's its main thing. But I mean, also a bunch of TV shows and movies and video games. So it's good times, been doing this since like 20 years now. So. 20 years, oh my God. <laughs> Sorry, I missed that. Victor? I was amazed. 20 ah. years, oh my God. Yeah, yeah. I've been doing it longer than many of my fans have been alive. It's, I feel very old. <laughs> but, you know, still having a good time. <laughs> what what is your main instrument? It's keyboard, I think. Uh, besides what main instrument besides keyboard? Um, probably clarinet. And um, I did trumpet through college as well. So, but I almost never played them. Accordion, lots of accordion. But that's really? pretty key. Yeah. Yeah, maybe um, if you could talk a little bit about um, you know the tools you use to make your music, then um, that would be uh, useful for people. Uh, tools? Are you mean just software or hardware? Or what are we talking about? Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah. So uh, I mean, it's probably changed. Yeah. So yeah, I've just got a, um, I've got an old Mac Pro. It's I don't know eight years old now. It's still working. I've got to replace it one of these days. Um, and uh, yeah, I just run Logic and an enormous amount of virtual instruments. So it's it's pretty much 100% electronic, 100% in box. Very rarely do I break out a microphone to record stuff. Uh, I really don't know if there's anything interesting in there, but uh, <laughs> yeah. Now, do I remember correctly that you used to use um, Finale, or is that? Oh, well? I did use Finale. Yeah, back in college, okay. back in the way back days, you know, in the nineties, uh, before they had copy and paste in it. You had to use the mover tool. It was. It was dire but i mean it did it <laughs> you know you can get dots on the page but uh, i almost never write uh i almost written never write for sheet music so don't use finale for composition uh, these days oh, just um in case uh victor and um Caleb went to uh, listen to you know some um, older recordings. Um, I know we had you on Music Manumit at least a couple of times back when that was a thing. Okay. And, um, just dropping those in for uh, for them. 
Mm. But, uh, you mentioned uh, movies, and these aren't, you know, I mean, sure there's some independent um, movies, but uh, you've had some some pretty big names use your um, use your music as well. Mm -hmm. Yep. So what are, so, what are some of the? No, it's normally when they need like some uh, old tiny piano music. Those seem to be the ones that have made it into some big. Big placements. Um, I just got a, I don't know, it's like an $11 million film coming up that I got a placement in, which is nice. Uh, years ago, I got some music into Hugo. Uh, and I didn't, I didn't write music for that. It's just music that they found on the internet and then stuck in their movie. They didn't give you any credit for it? Um, they gave me money, which is fine. <laughs> but in the music credits, you didn't get any credit. I didn't. I didn't get any credit in the film release. Uh, that's because they forgot that they still had my music in it. I got a call three days before the film released, and they had me to clear the rights on it. So it was already distributed to theaters at that point. So, yeah, no, no, no actual credit in that one. Oh, wow, that's just yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah, so uh, going back through the archives, it looks like four times we had you on. on music <laughs> wow. so, uh, yeah, it was three on the main show, and we had you on the, uh, on the jazz cast. Um, All right. So, cool. yeah, so. Um, but yeah, you, Vic, Victor, you make um, you make instrumental music as uh, as well. And we've talked a little bit about um, about your setup before, but people may not uh, may not go back and look at the you know through the various weeks. So uh, if you could talk a little bit about your setup, that might be uh, interesting to people as well. No, okay. I have laptop HP because besides music making i want to play games <laughs> <laughs> also here is you can can't see it it's midi keyboard and inside of laptop is my favorite ableton live <laughs> and huge huge amount of samples and virtual instruments and i trying to get get rid of some instruments because it's too much for me oh like what for example i don't need 20 orchestral libraries from for contact <laughs> <laughs> they do take up space and a lot of it space is not problem oh okay <laughs> and a laptop do you have external drives on that then yeah i have oh, okay. two two external drives now <laughs> I'm making but, but, music because uh, writing lyrics for me is too tough. <laughs> I don't I get, like yeah. how Russian language sounds in trip hop music. So that's why I try to write English lyrics. Have you ever thought about um, collaborating with a lyricist? No. Because <laughs> because you know that's something that you know happens a fair amount at Black Sonic. <laughs> How can it be so simple? <laughs> oh my God, Natasha, she's probably close to your time zone. Uh, I don't know if you know her, but um, 
I'll drop a link for the people. Um, I think we've talked about her on the show before, but um, Natasha Bill. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. I don't know who. Part of her lyrics was made by me. Oh, you wrote some of that? Yeah. <laughs> nice. But she heavily edited my lyrics. Ah. Yeah, and um, I don't know how far off you are from the Japanese time zone, but Cheese and Pot C are in Japan, and then the whole uh, D3C crew. I think that uh, there's, there's probably some, uh, you know, if you asked Mike about, you know, getting some contact information, it probably wouldn't be hard to set things. I mean, Cheese and Pot C, they're like collaborating with everybody, so I'm sure they'd be down to do something. I tried to collaborate with local local musicians. Uh, yeah. nobody, nobody wants to play trip hop. Uh, did you um it's too boring for them? Did you listen to the latest uh Donny Ozone release? Because he I felt like that started to go into like a sort of a trip hop direction. I just dropped the link for uh, cheese and pot C in the um, in the oh, chat. Um, that's great. That's strange. The website is broken for me. The Black Sonic site. Yeah. Is it showing the IP address? No, no. It's okay. like no, no images on the website. Oh, interesting. Yeah, this um, so this uh, skate guide. Um, well, you said you were listening to that. Um, I think, um, Caleb, uh, that yeah. one I felt like. Did you did you listen to any of uh, Donnie's old older material after that? I I may have. I I can't remember. I uh, that was a whole week ago. <laughs> Yeah, because uh, I think I think that goes in like a kind of a different direction. I mean, like we're still listing it as hip hop, but I felt I felt like that that sort of like starts to go down like a more trip hop sort of uh, vibe with some of his other stuff. Cool. So, but uh, yeah, that's another that dude is like writing lyrics all the time. So he might he might be a good one, um, Victor too. His that would actual be name cool is too. Like an international connection. I remember back in it. I remember back in the '90s when uh, DJ Vadim like came out with some hip hop stuff. With it was kind of cool, the collaboration. Pretty neat. Yeah, there is also cool Russian trip hop musician on uh, Project Moon Circle label, but I don't. I don't remember his name, <laughs> <laughs> but but I mem remember that he is awesome. Sweet. Uh, oh, I, yeah, long arm. Oh, I think somebody else is saying something. Go ahead. It's okay. Yeah. I was say, Caleb, you um, you know, we've mostly talked about instrumental music, but uh, you were talking about um, some people just like using um. You know, using their voice, but as an instrument. Like, but there's not, there's not actually any, um, actually any lyrics. So, I don't know if you want to talk about that at all. Oh, uh, was I the one that was mentioning that? I thought you did. Man, mm. yeah, but I don't remember. But there, I was trying to think of who would have done that. I used to listen to uh, Tuvan Throat Singers, which was similar to what you're talking about but yeah throat singing is awesome <laughs> i've ne i had a friend when i was growing up that could do the multiple 
the multiple harmonics at the same time, that's difficult. You know, when, I I don't know how. I think you've almost got to be have just. I don't know how you develop it that technique, but it, there it is, was pretty interesting. There is two different types of troll thing is Hume and Kalgura. Kalgura is easiest. It's just like off. It's just like what? Wait, wait a minute. Okay. Yeah, can you demonstrate? Can you just give us a bit? <laughs> <laughs> it's the easy one, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's good. Now you just need to get the high harmonic above it, you know? Yeah, but th this part is hard. <laughs> yeah, that's the, that's, that's the part that always, like, I I heard, I knew a guy and he could do three three notes at the same time, and I, it just blew my mind. I don't know how he did it. It was, it was different. He told me, he ex tried to explain how he was doing it, but it still was something un unobtainable to me, so I have no idea. This, uh, uh, that might be something for us to talk about next week. <laughs> we can continue the, uh, the conversation. Um, yeah. Uh, metal band with uh, some throat singing. Yeah. I listen to almost total oh, uh, I, I know them music without singing i mean you, what do you know the, the, oh. who <laughs> mongolian heavy metal band oh wow i i saw them on a festival called spirit of tengri here on elmati Yep, yeah, but I mean, there's a lot of other things you can do with uh, human voice as an instrument from, you know, oohs and ahs to pops and fart sounds. And it's, <laughs> you can get a lot of different timbres out of people, which is cool. And it also sounds lively, so. Yeah. You know, sounds, sounds I should have reached, I should have reached out to Aaron. Um, Aaron Wolf, because he um, does a lot of like, or used to do like a lot of barber barber shop um, quartet singing. Oh, he's and, like that's a place for it. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even think about that, it. but yeah. I well, I didn't think we were going to be talking about singing at all today. So <laughs> <laughs> that's right. The show is exactly about that. <laughs> like, I can see why you wouldn't. I've been listening yeah. to a lot of Jim O'Rourke this week, and uh, he's a guitar player, but he also does uh, it's, most of it's totally instrumental. And uh, it's pretty interesting. Got really quiet all of a sudden. I'm not sure what happened. Can you guys hear me okay? Yes. Yeah. All right. I, I muted myself, but I don't know. Oh, oh okay. That, yeah. All right. Yeah. I guess you've got noise going what? on. So when That's you muted yourself, it, it muted. It just got really interesting. Quiet. <laughs> I wonder if it's picking up my laptop mic instead of my uh, I don't know. headset for some reason. I don't know. You guys continue on. I will uh, try to try to suss that out. Yeah. What kind of. What kind of music without voices do you guys listen to or have you been listening to lately? Hmm. Uh, um, listening to music, music that I, listen I mean, to. that sounds weird. <laughs> it comes in. It's in every television show. It's in every Netflix series. It's, it's just everywhere. Um, I don't try to listen to it. <laughs> it just is. Been exploring a uh, jazz drummer named Brian Blade a lot. And he's, 
I heard him. I, I've heard him on a lot of different albums, but I went to go see him live with his band called Steel House, and they were incredible. I, I mean, the, what I saw him do, I just I've never seen. The, he has a very unique voice as a drummer, and and it, just the way he touches the instrument is really unique, and uh, it's something you, I really had to see live, and it was worthwhile. It was a great show. But I've been listening to him a lot lately. It came to mind. I'll just, and then uh, Tom Carter had two new releases this week, that I listen, or last week that I've li been listening to. And uh, listened to a lot of ambient music, too. Uh, besides jazz and experimental. And then, you know, you have the jazz experimental ambient music, like over at Chilled Cow. I, I do I do watch that channel. Oh, what, um, what channel is that? Oh, uh, Chilled Cow. It's the, they just play like, geez, I don't even know what it's called. Um, it's like minimalist, uh, jazzy, chop up things. It's just, you know, ambient music for your day. If you just want something nice going on in the background. Oh. It's, it's a YouTube channel. It's famous for having the, the girl that's like doing homework while listening to music in animated form. Oh, I've never seen this before. You've never it's seen just... it? Oh, it's huge. Oh. <laughs> Have you seen it, Victor? Yes, of course. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. What? I, I live in my bubble. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sad sad about this girl. She's never finished. No, nope. page after page. <laughs> after page <laughs> <sitting there. laughs> Daytime, nighttime. Sometimes it's, it's. I think it's snowing. Sometimes it's raining. Sometimes it's a whole experience. And the chat is, chat flies by. People love talking on that. And I believe you're muted. Oh, nice. As you talk about chill, chilled cow, it showed up in my YouTube recommendations. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Damn Google. Yeah. It, it yeah it shows up from on my recommendations usually uh, late at night and early in the morning. And I was like, oh, you need some chilled cow. I'm like, yes, I do. He's and just late some night. Of it's really fantastic, and others okay. of it. <laughs> oh, all right, go on. Can you hear me now? About late night in Kazakhstan, just right now. Yeah. So it's right in time. Are you crying, Caleb? Yes, it's my son. <laughs> my he's my son's getting a big hug from my wife right now. So very uh there's lots of hugging and lots of excitement. All right, I know this has nothing to do with music, but Victor, I got to ask, uh, Kazakhstan is known for the big space yeah. uh, space launches, big rocket launches. Are you near there? Have you seen a rocket launch? No, it's it's far from me. Oh, OK. It's like on the other part of country. <laughs> Fair. The part where there's nothing. Yeah. So what? Uh, it, what area? It's like two oh, two sorry. big city, two big cities and rocket launch platform in Kazakhstan and not nothing there to watch. Okay. <laughs> I guess Doug said he was having trouble with. So he may have to drop out soon. 
Um, let's see. Let me see. Uh, what area are you over, Kevin? Are you are you trying to keep up with the music on? What area am I trying to keep up the music on? Or what area of the universe or <laughs> are you covering? Um, I usually, uh, uh, well, let's see. These days I've got, I've got a couple of movies, uh, a couple of short films that I'm scoring. And also, I, I'm looking at about 25 projects on my desktop right now. And we have everything from, uh, you know, cumbia the Latin stuff to tribal stuff to cumbia, you know, yes. drum stuff for like island esque music. Oh, wow. So, uh, meditation, of stuff. upbeat meditation. Hmm? That's a lot of music. Some jazz, yeah. <laughs> what kind of jazz? Um, what do I got going on here? Um, I wish. I want to listen that island music stuff. You want? Oh yeah, I will send it. We can. <laughs> I can play it. I don't know if you can hear this, but yeah. It's, you can't you can't be sad about it. It's just nice, very uh, you know, free of problems. <laughs> it's beautiful. Um, here's some steel drum. Oh, here's some old steel drum stuff. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I picked up uh, ADO has a new steel drum out, and Spitfire has a new steel drum out. And I just use my uh, uh, mallet controller over there and, you know, actually play the mallets, and it sounds pretty good. So experimenting was with it, that. Was a saxophone in previous track? That was a human being playing a saxophone. <laughs> He's uh, a cool. what I thought guy. was a cool library. <laughs> oh yeah, that'd be great. Uh, no, you just have to pay him uh, because he was like a he's a live music, you know, musician, and uh, his life is now kind of stopped because nobody can go to listen to him play. He was in a he was in a band. It was a I think it's about a seven to twelve piece brass band. Wow, that's you know? a big band. It is, yeah. yeah, it's a big band. And now they're just like, oh, well, I guess all of our gigs are canceled from now until whenever. So that's pretty much every musician right now. Like, yeah, except the online ones. Like you and I have a few other buddies that have do lessons online. And they've been able to keep money coming in, but it's been a rough time for musicians for sure. Yeah. Some people are recording things or are lucky enough to have a studio they can access, but and then I have a I have other friends who want to get to the studio, but they can't because the studio is closed. So it's yeah. it's, it's crazy times. It's such such a crazy time. Yep, you gotta have gotta have a studio in your house, I guess. Yeah, right. Yeah. Well, I have a friend. Oh, another friend is working with the studio remotely, so that's oh. interesting. <laughs> I don't even know what they. How would that work? Yeah. Well, he's doing the mix down now, so oh. he's just talking to them on the telephone and and. Uh, to get the mix in. I thought that was interesting. That sounds yeah. like a huge hassle to me personally. <laughs> but, like, really does. I could, wow. But, 
Uh, wow, Kevin, you were a really busy guy, it sounds like. You'd think that. Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, it sounds like yeah. you've got a lot of projects going. Yeah, I have a lot good. of things in process. I got a few things with deadlines and, you know, this is, yeah. Do you, do you have time to eat? I do. I do have time to eat. <laughs> <laughs> I've uh, I've not been working like I used to work a lot more than I'm working today. Today I work maybe two to four hours a day. You know, back back in the day I would, you know, six to twelve hours a day. So I've 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 calmed down a lot. I haven't put out a whole lot of music this year yet, but I probably I'll probably have thirty or thirty or so tracks by the end of the year. Um, the song. Yeah. Getting into the. Go ahead. Uh, oh yeah, getting into the eighties now. Uh, I've been inspired by the weekend, and that sort of hyper real 80s sound. I'm like, yes, that is joyous. That's... And since I sort of grew up in the 80s, it's like it's in me. Like, I got it. I got, I got 80s in me. So working on getting think some about stuff. Synthwave. I don't know a lot about Synthwave. Are we talking um, like who? who is, can you give me an example? I don't know what the word Synthwave means. Is it like erasure or uh, mm. Or is that new? That's new wave. Yeah, I think you're thinking new wave. Yeah. I don't talk a lot about music, so I don't know a lot of words. <laughs> oh. Let's look it up here. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, back to the eighties, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I have listened to some of this. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, I like it. It's not. I, I, don't, like to, I, I don't think I like to write it, but it's cool. Debater. One thing, uh, completely off topic, but uh, before I go, um, since we've discussed it the last two times, um, this is actually another cycling kit, but this is a mountain biking jersey, so uh, it doesn't have like the, the pockets on the back. Um, I kind of hate them, but um, they're, uh, the problem with when you're mountain biking, having the, the open pockets is stuff can like fall out. <laughs> And since I'm going mountain biking, I don't want stuff to fall out. <laughs> but, uh, the other thing that I realized is that um, when I leave, this is probably I'm just going to like record a whole lot of nothing. So I'll probably have to chop off the end before I uh, what, upload it. But uh, do you want to just call it early okay. today, or? Um, no, you guys can keep can keep going. Um, whenever whenever I end up having to leave, there's still stuff to, to talk about. Um, you know, if it runs out of space in my Dropbox, it runs out of space in my Dropbox. Like, you know, eventually I'm gonna delete it anyway, so I'm not that concerned about that. <laughs> to be honest, I've got other things I could do today, so I may just check out early. I apologize. Yeah, no, that's cool. Okay. All right. Well, I'll see you guys next week then. I was kind of hoping to get that all. Yeah. Bye, right, man. Yeah. Um, I don't know where Victor got dark there. <laughs> it's like uh, looking at a uh, like a surveillance camera in the dark. <laughs> See oh, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Did you double click? Does that go back to the speaker? Does that work? 
Welcome back, Victor. Sorry. Uh, there is co cockroach invasion in my kitchen. Yeah. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> I did it. So, um, we have. Oh, next week. Uh, we're we're talking about metal um because i got some guests lined up for that uh so we won't have to go through the um normally what we do kevin at the end of the chat is um is we uh we sort of discuss five things that'll go up for the vote and then mm -hmm. um we have a facebook group where people will vote for the topic on the next week so um but we don't even do that um today um because we've already got one for next week all right. Um, well, I I, uh, I also have a metal guy for you. Uh, oh, sweet! He's a he's Norwegian, so it's metal. yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's a pretty good player, pretty good writer. He writes a lot. Um, see if I can get him uh, to join into uh, next week. I don't have a lot to say. I yeah. Know, but yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's the problem with some of the topics is. Uh, you know, sometimes people don't have much to say on a particular topic, but uh, we usually have, you know, three or four, five um, people that show up. Like one time, I think we had seven or eight, but, um, you know, that's that's about the uh, the max we get. So, All right. Um, but, yeah, um, is there anything else either of you guys want to, uh, to share? Um, I mean, you guys are welcome to stay on and talk if you want, but you, you haven't... Yeah, we had to answer, answer. Go away. Yeah. Where is yeah. Caleb? Uh, he had something he had to do. I don't know what, um, but he had to bounce. So, uh, but, um, a Lego studio here that I built yesterday. That's nice. Oh yeah, that is nice. <laughs> <laughs> I should have used this for the tour. It's like here's my Mac Pro, and then here's my. Adam uh, speaker. Oh, oh yeah. Put a subwoofer in. I have a subwoofer that's missing here. So. Anyways. Sweet. Um, are you on Facebook, Kevin? No. Okay. I, I, say I, I have could, a uh, Facebook account, but I haven't logged in in like six months. And if you send things there, they will die. Yeah. I was just thinking that um, you know that would be that's the really the best way either to watch the show, um, but although actually watching the show won't tell you that'll only tell you like the topics except like this week is a weird week where we actually know the topic for next week, um, but uh, I will try as I did this time when there's a um, a topic of uh, that I think you know would be of interest. Um, do you know um, Jason Weinberger by chance? I do not. Okay. Uh, he's a he's a conductor and orchestra leader in Iowa. He's in the Midwest. That's why I thought maybe. Um, and he does. Yeah. Uh, I think sometimes Cedar Falls. Happens. What was that? So, yeah, sometimes it happens where I just happen to know yeah, somebody. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The um. But uh, he at one point was able to do all of to get all of their recordings um, as Creative Commons. Like he was able to work that out with like the the orchestra. Yeah union or whatever and so um he's uh he's hopefully going to be on at some point but uh yeah it just sort of depends on the week but um but sweet uh i guess i'm going to go ahead and um click the little end call button here um but uh kevin thanks so much um for coming this week um and uh victor thanks as always and um i guess probably both of you guys won't be in next week but uh maybe i'll talk to you guys on the uh the 16th all right you know what right. i'm thinking about but, guitar music <laughs> yeah well i i've got i'm gonna you should you should check out um neurowolf and all his stuff because he's got a lot of electronic sort of like metal stuff but uh yeah i've talked about him before he's he's slovenian but uh but i'll send you that later so. last, last all right guys Friday, i was in jam later. with musician and everyone was rock musician ah <laughs> <laughs> It was like hell for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Have a have a good one. Yeah. Bye. Victor. Oh.
Sorry, I'm still here. I have questions. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, are you on like Google Hangouts? Do you have like a Gmail account or something? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. Um, can can you send me your your information? Um, like, like what? Like your email address, your if you have a website, you know. I don't know a lot about what you do, and on this in this call, there we go. Thank you. It just tells me that your name is Victor, which does not help me. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'd, uh, I would like to, I would like to take a look at this, and. Um, and you're uh, Kazakhstan? Yeah. So. Um, I try to invite some my some of my uh, some of my friends here. Oh, ah, okay. Language is problem. Say again. Stop. Language is problem. That's why Language my is friends problem. can join. Nice. What what language are they? Is it Russian or right now it was Russian? <laughs> no, your friends, what do they speak? Ah, yeah, Russian. Russian, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I'm. What do you say? Ocean plocha. Yeah. <laughs> not, not okay. Here in Kazakhstan, actually, two languages. Officially, yeah. it's Kazakh, and normally, it's Russian. <laughs> yeah. F I know uh, the Russians have. <laughs> it's, it's been a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Where Russia comes in, it's like all Russian now, and like Estonia is going. No, we like Estonian. Like, no, we're Russian. <laughs> and so, like, I'm just making sure that, yeah, some people get really weird about, uh, like. I think a Russian uh, for America, Americans sounds like Bulgarian for Russian. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> the Kazakh? No, wait. But, ugh. <laughs> I don't know Bulgarian. I don't know anything about Bulgarian. Bulgarian is similar to Russian. Oh, okay. Actually. I know a little bit about Polish, which is similar to Russian a little bit. You can get a few words here and there. But, uh... And then I've got, you know, friends from Croatia, which is another thing, but they speak all a little bit of Russian, so. So they're everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> they did a good job of spreading out. <laughs> uh. And where are you from? I am from Wisconsin in the U.S. Um, I I lived in New York City for about ten years, and I moved back to Wisconsin. Um, about four years ago. And which city is based better? Which city is better? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> New York. New York is better. Why? New York is because they have everything. They, I, when I went to New York, I thought it was going to be amazing musicians like everywhere. And there are musicians everywhere and most of them suck. They're just, it's, 
you don't have to be good to be in New York. I'll tell you that. Um, but if you're if you're making money in music here, they're all pretty good. So there's a lot of just young people who don't really know what they're doing. They just, you know, pick up a saxophone and blow through it for a half an hour and start a band and like, oh, oh no, no, no. Uh, but I mean, you can, everyone goes there eventually. You can see anyone you want. You can go to the, well, you can't go to parties anymore. You can't go to concerts anymore. Right now, New York is awful. But my thought is Los Angeles is center of creativity. Who? Where? Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Ah, that that's is my, it's my dream to live there. That is that's it. Yeah. If you want to get into movies or TV, Los Angeles, the like the live music scene, much more New York. Oh, I, I thought I thought it is opposite for music. Yeah, there is a lot of music in New York. There's a lot of good music, a lot of great people coming out of there. Brooklyn, especially. Um, a lot of good venues. You know, I was only like I only know a little bit about a couple of the scenes there. Like I know a little bit about the like the jazz scene and chip tunes. Um, I oh and theater. I know a little bit about the theater music scene there. But yeah, no, it's uh, Los Angeles. I've been to Los Angeles. It it is always bright and sunny and warm and i don't like it <laughs> it's too cheery it's too nice you can't i need like rain and snow no no i, but, I, I uh, hate snow <laughs> Yeah, I need things to change. I need it to be cool sometimes, but uh, Los Angeles is always warm. Everybody else loves it, so you and everybody else <laughs> are fine. I also like Miami, but there is too much Russian in, in Miami. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know. I know it's full of people from Cuba. Yeah, in Russia. Too also, many Russians. Ukrainian. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. In uh, in New York, there's uh, like Ukrainian neighborhood right next to the Russian neighborhood. I'm like, <laughs> you think you think you guys would split up, <laughs> but but it's Ukrainian Ukrainian neighborhood is like just like stuck in nineties. <laughs> Sounds like Ukraine, yeah. This, yeah, it's that whole, I don't know. Stuck in the 90s, stuck in the 80s. I'm okay with it. They were okay times. Back then, music was better. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming back. Have you have you heard the weekend? Do you listen to him? No, I think it's what? Uh, it's Iron B or hip hop. It's what R and B? I don't rap, think rap so. music. It's uh, it's not really rap. That. 
Oh, I never hear that. <laughs> oh, it is. This was a terrible version because it's it's got 200, 200 million views. It is very popular. And if you like that 80s sound, oh boy, oh boy. He has made it popular again. Uh, yeah, so let me see if I can find some 80s stuff that I've been doing recently. Crank this thing up. Mm, what is this one? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Is that one? It sounds like old Russian pop music. <laughs> yes. <laughs> exactly. It's coming back. If you've got it in you, the world needs it. Uh, was this one? Is this 80s? No. Maybe this one? No. Oh, here, this one. Where are you? There we go. This is more old Russian. Etc. I have to listen to your stuff though. Where's that link? Yeah. Did you make that drum kit or was that a sample from something? Uh, it was from sample pack. Ah. I think it's it's called something something about trip hop. <laughs> ah. Cool. Like yeah, it's got that big old dirty sound to it, which is cool. It's it's hard for me to find right uh, drum sample yeah i tried to collaborate with drummer but mm. he said that playing trip hop it's too boring for for him <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's like one one beat on on three minutes oh yeah yeah and uh, trip hop well you but he only has to do it for four seconds. <laughs> and you're fine. Yeah. yeah, but playing this live, it's tough because yeah, live gig is just me in front of notebook <laughs> and, and, and my lounge pad. It, it looks so stupid. Especially That's... after after some rock band yeah yeah i mean that's the chip tunes people have the same problem <laughs> it's like they just push the button and then they stand <laughs> can't really do it live but people love to see the person who made it so you Usually try to I, be I pretend that i'm very busy yeah just yes. pressing buttons <laughs> and making, <laughs> making movements <laughs> yeah it is it is problems um 
Let's see what else. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. So you do live? You don't do live gigs now, right? Is everything no, closed there? No. no. Okay. Um, yeah, so you're selling on... Uh, where do you sell here? Oh, just off of your website by... I sell selling everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> where, I, where I can sell. <laughs> Bandcamp. Uh, Tidal, yeah. Deezer. Yeah. Spotify. Spotify. God I, Spotify. Oh, yes. <laughs> they actually pay money. Yeah. How do you work Spotify? Do you have do you like build playlists there or just let everyone else do it? Actually, I'm still learning how it it works. Oh, okay. I just uh, upload all my music to my distributor and ah. he make, makes all things. Do, do you go through DistroKid? No, it's it's free distributor called Fresh Tunes. Fresh Tunes. Oh, yeah. Interesting. They take, I think, one percent from sales. Ah. But if you don't have sales, you don't have problems. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I have a distributor uh, from Germany called filmmusic.io. Uh, and uh, yep, he sells stuff, sells licenses and, and all of that. I, I mainly sell to other creators. I don't write music for people to just listen to. Although maybe I should, I don't know. Lots of people playing games to my music. So Twitch uh, and then tabletop games. How do you find that somebody use you, your music? I, I, I run into it all the time. Just being, just listening to podcasts out of, I, I listen to a lot of podcasts. I would say maybe four or five of them use my music. A um, lot of YouTube videos. Uh, I'm in over, oh, it's over 70 million YouTube videos. Oh my God. So you can't go very far without running into me on YouTube. Are you proud of this? I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sort of helping to define the mu music of YouTube, which is pretty neat to be like um, a, a person who is like, it's one of those things where it's like, oh, like what have you done that I've heard of when you meet people on the street? And I'm like, well, have you ever seen a cat video on YouTube? And they're like, yeah, like that was me. <laughs> Every stupid cat video. You want videos of people playing with toys? That's me. You want all, any, anything. You can't, at, at one point, the, uh, the what's a, this was like six years ago. Uh, I went to the top trending, the top 20 um, music, uh, videos on YouTube, I was in eight or 10 of them, just at that moment in time. So it's pretty neat. I, I just searched stupid cat and the first video was with your music. <laughs> <laughs> music used monkeys spinning monkeys, Kevin McLeod. Yep. <laughs> Yep. It's just first video in the list. <laughs> yep. I'm not lying. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's pretty <laughs> cool.
do you scare about it? <laughs> do I scare about it? Yeah. It's, it's, I don't know. It's weird. Like some, sometimes I'll be like, I'll be like waking up and I'll like check the news and uh, something like that. And it'll be, I don't know, like 7 AM and like, bam, my music's there. I'm like, shit, <laughs> it didn't even, it didn't even make it to 7 AM before I ran across me. But sometimes if I don't listen to anything, I can make it through most of the day. Well, I still can't understand how it's possible. I give everything away for free. And I tell people that they can use it in whatever they want. And they do. <laughs> and, um, yeah. And I still make money off Spotify, Apple Music. I still make money off of advertising off of bleh, what else many things i think it's easier in united states to make money with music i don't think it's easy at all <laughs> everyone i know is like kevin you're just you, you're the outlier. You're you can't give you anyone advice. spending your life. <laughs> and uh, and yeah, they they're having hard times making music. I, I hired one of my friends this year, uh, and he's just making music for me. And I'm trying to bring him in into the give it away for free. It works model, and he's not he's not doing it. But. It's all right. See, this is the good conversation that we should have had. Yeah. When they were talking. But it's still recording. I don't think so. Yet tak ni dumio. Well, shit. Diamo. Where do you learn Russian? Where? Um from russians uh <laughs> it's lo logical <laughs> <clears throat> no i mean i i like the i found out about the russian language and how it's constructed and i thought it was really beautiful and a little chaotic and um Leo? A little chaos. Yeah, there's good rules. Like I, you know, like it's easy to spell things most of the time. In English, spelling, fuck, <laughs> you can't. How it's hard. The but most Russian, problem for Russian in English is th. th, th, th. How uh, how to how thing? to pronounce it? Yeah. Yeah. And everyone say that sync i think <laughs> ah yes there's a that's a sync yeah it's germans too <laughs> um so this was uh this was back before the internet and so uh, you know i got books and i got uh cds and listened to them and i at my best i had maybe two thousand words so not, not very good not good and not bad not bad it was too much work and there weren't enough russian people for me to practice with because you just you need to talk to people because i don't know if my pronunciation is any good because the cd can't tell me <laughs> and then if, and if i try to talk with them they're like no 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 we speak english you're too slow you're too you know, I'm missing too many words. So, but that was, yeah, that was good times back in 1998, 96. How old are you? 
Uh, 50? No. No. 48. Close to 50. <laughs> How old are you? 29. 29? Yeah. Cool. And everyone is uh, married. All my friends, my brother. And I'm ah. still here. Still, still <laughs> here make, making music. <laughs> Uh, yep, I'm also still here making music. I'm not married. I have no children. It's uh, uh, I like it. <laughs> oh, let me see. Let me see if I can get Alexander in on this one. For Just I think I, I need to go. It's okay. Uh, it's midnight for me, and tomorrow, oh, right, right. tomorrow I need to go to my lovely yes. work. All it's right. What, wait, what do you do? <laughs> what, what is your job? I'm a psychologist in clinic. A psychologist? Yeah. Damn! That's <laughs> cool. I didn't guess. Um, oh, uh, Alexander will be here in four minutes, but no, uh, <laughs> Victor needs to go. Uh, maybe next time. Yeah, I'll talk. Um, yeah, we'll do that. Um, I'll send you some, I want to listen to your music. Uh, we'll talk again soon i will invite you to because I, I just have hangouts where people just sit around and drink and talk music if we don't record it we just complain about people <laughs> and it's it's lovely and maybe you want to join in i don't yeah, know of course. there's it is mostly english but almost everyone is english as a second language so we don't get too crazy I think English is not a problem for me. I think you're right. <laughs> that some some people feel because I know some people are like, ah, oh, my English is not great, but yeah, you've learned it, I'm sure, from very young. So yeah. All right. Well, have a great day. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> All right. Cheers, man.